Good morning to you. Welcome to your word of encouragement for today. Today I'm speaking to you about having a miraculous mindset. Something that is very necessary for all of us today. I am going to read to you from verse from Matthew chapter 16, 17 and 18. This is Jesus speaking, and it is the the Passion Translation or the message. You'll have to check that out. And it, it's probably the message. Jesus came back. God bless you, Simon, son of Jonah. You didn't get that answer out of books or from teachers. My Father in heaven, God himself, let you in on the secret of who I really am. And now I'm going to tell you who you really are. He's speaking to Peter here. You are Peter, a rock. This is the rock on which I will put together my church, a church so expansive with energy that not even the gates of hell will be able to keep it out. I believe we are given an opportunity in these days to walk in the identity that we have in Christ, which is powerful, full of purpose. Um, we, the glory of God is upon us. We are called with a commission, a mandate to tread upon serpents and scorpions, to, um, to lay hands on the sick and see them recover. Jesus himself said we would do greater works than he did. And in order to believe that, you need a revelation of your identity in Christ, of who you are. Just as he said to Peter, you, I'm going to tell you who you are. You are Peter a rock. You've had a revelation of who I am. That's what brings you into a powerful place where you recognize who you are called to be when you have a revelation of who Jesus is. But the big, best revelation you can ever have. Um, I'm so excited that I've been invited to speak at Debron on the 5th of August at a women's conference with Rona Kiesvetter. And the theme is, who is this bridegroom? And we know Jesus is the bridegroom. But as I began to prepare for this meeting, I, I realized how powerful Jesus is. We know it. But also how authentic, genuine um, he is. And he wants to be involved in our lives. He wants to, to walk with us, to communicate with us. And so when he said, this is the rock on which, this is the revelation on which my church will be built. A church so expansive with energy. And when I think of that energy, I think of the miracle working power, the resurrection life that we have as believers. So a miraculous mindset will be a way of expectation, a belief system that this is time to write history that others are going to read about and find out about. A time to co-labor with the Holy Spirit to bring God's kingdom here on earth. Um, so let's have a look at, at the word miraculous. The dictionary definition of the word miraculous is remarkable, bringing very welcome consequences, surprising and unexpected. The synonyms for miraculous are supernatural and inexplicable. In other words, you cannot explain it. It's a miracle. Um, you don't have to be a Christian to use the word miraculous or it's a miracle. It's just something that cannot be explained. But the biblical definition is the word dunamis, which is miracle working power. So if we want to see the miracles, then, and we're going to look at that word a little bit further in a minute, but if we want to see the miracles, then we need to see through God's eyes. We need to have a different expectation and a belief system, and that is a miraculous mindset. The word miracles, dunamis, is miraculous power or inherent power. In other words, the power that is sitting, waiting to be unlocked for miracles to happen. We have it already in him. It means power and influence, which belong to richest wealth, power in numbers, Power resting on armies, forces, or hosts. This is ours. So a couple of reasons why we need a miraculous mindset in this season. And this is a full message. I'm just giving you a bite-sized portion of it. If we want to prosper, which means if we want to advance, increase, succeed, 
we need a miraculous mindset. We cannot do it believing that we are nothing, uh, we, are, we are nobody's going nowhere. We have to believe that Jesus meant it when he said, um, I'm sending you the Holy Spirit. When he said, the Spirit is upon me because he has anointed me. And he said, go in this authority that I'm giving you. Go and change the world. Let's do this together. We have to believe that. So if we want to succeed or increase or advance, we have to change our way of thinking and believing. A new season requires a miraculous mindset. You cannot enter into a new season believing the way you did before. Um, expecting things to be the way they have been all along, the familiar. A miraculous mindset will take your eyes off your circumstances and onto the promise of God, onto where God has said you are going to go, how things are going to change. A miraculous mindset is a mindset of faith. It's a believing that God is going to do what he said because he is faithful. And when we have faith, we know that faith pleases God. And Sometimes it's difficult for people to change their belief system, but that's why we are transformed by the renewing of our mind. So a miraculous mindset attracts grace, which is empowerment. It attracts the anointing and the favor and everything we need to accomplish what God has said. So a miraculous mindset is, is ground for God to come and move. Um, in Acts chapter 4, we find the stories of the, the disciples in a lot of opposition and resistance against them preaching the gospel and the signs and wonders. They got together, had a prayer meeting that shook the place up. They didn't say, oh Lord, help us, save us, because there were threats against them. And they said, Lord, grant us boldness, that we can preach your word, we can carry on doing this, that signs and wonders will be seen. And when they asked for boldness, the place was shaken up. The place where they were praying was shaken up. Don't you want to be part of a culture of believers, a church, a group of people who are going to say, God, in spite of what's going on around us, we, we have a miraculous mindset. We're not going to back off. We're not going to give up. We know that when you step in, the place is going to be shaken up and we are going to be bold enough to walk in this. That's a miraculous mindset. So, I'm going to read Isaiah 52, 1-2 in the Passion Translation. Wake up, open your eyes, beautiful Zion, put on your majestic strength. Put on your glory garments. Arise and shake off your dust. Sit enthroned, Jerusalem, break off your shackles of bondage from your neck. And I believe that's what God is saying. Arise, shake off the dust of the old mindset of those disappointments that keep you stuck in the past, of those days where you sit and you try and reason out why things haven't happened, that why people have let you down, why God isn't answering your prayers. Shake off those shackles and that dust that settled on you and dress yourself in your glory garments and put on that strength that God says that you have. So maybe at some point I will give you the full message, but that is, my encouragement to you, begin to see God's ways, begin to look at your life with a miraculous mindset and get ready because the best is still to come.